Hello students, welcome back to the next module of our chapter called Electrostatics. Now students, in the previous module we have started with the concept of polarization and in this particular module we will be continuing with our concept called polarization. Right? Now students, in the previous module we have seen whenever a dielectric slab is placed in external electric field, the charges are developed on the surface of dielectric. Right? And these charges are basically referred as polarization charges which are induced in the dielectric slab or I can say whenever a dielectric slab is placed in external electric field polarization charges are induced at the ends of dielectric slab and because of these induced charges induced electric field EI is produced and this induced electric field always opposes the external electric field E0 and in this case net electric field is given by E net it is equal to E0 minus EI. Why? Because both of them are in opposite direction. Right? Now let us move ahead and define the word called polarization. Right? Now students, polarization can be defined as polarization charges per unit area. Right? Or I can say it is the amount of induced surface charge that is QP per unit area. Or it can also be defined as surface density of polarization charges which are appearing at right angles to external electric field or I can say it is surface density of polarization charges which is sigma p and these charges are appearing at right angles to external electric field right so I can write this term mathematically as capital P it is equal to QP upon A where QP is the induced polarization charges and capital A represents cross-sectional area right and it is also equal to sigma p right now let us move further now students polarization is a vector quantity and it is always directed from induced negative charge towards induced positive charge or I can say it is always directed from negative induced charge to positive induced charges and this particular quantity that is polarization is having same dimensions as that of surface charge density or as that of charge per unit area and the dimensions of polarization are L minus 2 M0 T1 I1 right now let us move further now let us say if I consider a sample to be continuously polarized or I can say assuming continuous polarized dielectric then polarization P at any point can be defined as net dipole moment of the small volume delta V where delta V tends to zero right so if the polarization is continuous or rather we are having continuous polarized dielectric then polarization is defined as net dipole moment of the small volume that is delta V and in this case delta V tends to zero so let us write mathematically so capital P it is equal to limit delta V tends to zero why because it is a very small volume and it will be into capital QL upon delta V where QL represents net dipole moment and delta V represents small volume now students volume can be written as area into length right so we'll put area into length in the above situation so what will I get I'll get capital P it is equal to capital QL upon area into length so we can cancel out L from numerator and denominator so I'll be left with Q upon A and therefore I can say P it is equal to Q upon A which is nothing but charge per unit area right so students in this particular module we have learned the definition of polarization right and polarization can be defined as charge induced per unit area right or other polarization charges which are induced per unit area and we have also defined it for the continuous polarized dielectric and it can be defined as net dipole moment for the small volume delta V and in this case delta V should be tending to zero 
right so students that's it for this particular module i'll see you in the next module till then keep learning